Well, hello there, my friend, and welcome to another Chef Lance show. And with college football season right around the corner, it's time to start thinking party apps. And today, while it's still summer, late summer, we made crab balls. Normally, we make crab cakes. We made these into balls for our football party with a nice remoulade sauce. So join me around the corner as we cook this thing. All right, my friend, let's uh, get to making the crab cake. So what I have here is a pound of crab meat. All right, this is the premium crab meat. Uh, most people like to use lump. I'm not doing that because I had this on hand and needed to use it. So I'm not going to go out and buy another can of it uh, just to get the lump. So we're going to, this will make perfect crab balls. Anyway, uh, anytime you buy shellfish that has been removed from the shell, you want to pick through it to make sure that there's no shell fragments remaining. You will occasionally do it, uh, have that in there, I should say. I have already done that with this. This is a pound. Recipe will be on the website. This is a Louisiana-style crab cake. And what's different than a Maryland crab cake? Primarily the seasoning. Uh, in a Louisiana style, you're going to use a Creole or a Cajun seasoning and typically in Maryland, they use Old Bay. So other than, and there might be a few other minor differences as well. So what we got is we've got this, um, this crab meat here, and I'm gonna start adding the other ingredients, the binders and the, and the moisteners. So I've got mayonnaise here. Again, all the amounts, the ingredients, all that's gonna be on the website. I'm wearing gloves, by the way, not because I'm afraid to get my hands in crab, it just uh, gloves make the cleanup a little bit easier. So we got some uh, mustard here. I believe that's a Creole mustard. Got a little melted butter that actually kind of congealed again, but it's soft enough that it will blend nicely in there. Uh, I've got some red bell pepper. So, that, oh, this smells so good. Green onions. I've got one egg that has been beaten. All right, now. For some of the other ingredients well we have some worcestershire sauce got a little salt and remember your seasoning uh tony thatcher's which is what i'm using here has salt in it as well so uh if you decide to add more salt you want to taste as you go by the way the crab meat because it came out of a can that's lemon juice is uh fully cooked the only other thing we're going to add this is crushed Crackers, this is a club uh, style, a multi-grain club style cracker has been crushed. If you don't want to do that, you can easily substitute bread crumbs of your choice. But this goes in last. So what I'm going to do now is just give this a mix. I'm going to be gentle, even though this is not lump. If you're using lump crab meat, you want to be extra, very special, gentle. So, mm, 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 I cannot wait. Oh, my goodness. All right. So now this is, I believe, a cup of breadcrumbs. I will not add all of that in at one time. I'm going to do about half of it. You don't want it too dry. You don't want it too wet. You want it Goldilocks, okay? And you can tell by feel and by looking if it's going to be too wet or too dry. And before they fry, they will be coated uh, in flour. So let me see what we got going on here. Bada bing, bada boom, right? So listen, guys, uh, we're doing uh, crab balls today because uh, we're doing these for a, a party. You know, college football season is cranking up. So this is the perfect appetizer to take to your uh, game party or if you're hosting one. Uh, listen, guys, I'm, I am not going to add any more of the breadcrumbs. I think we're good with that. So I will see you around the corner. All right, guys. I formed up one already. You saw that. I'm going to finish forming these up. You know, I want these to be about two bites for a guy, maybe three for a lady. Two. And by the way, the, the moisture, if you want these a little drier, add some more of the cracker crumbs or bread crumbs. That is totally up to you. we we'll just get these formed up. Listen, guys, I'm not going to keep you here. While I do all of these, you get the general idea. This is what they're starting to look like right there. Then uh, when I bring you back, we'll be set up and ready to fry. 
So until then, I will see you around the corner. All right, my friend, our oil is hot. In fact, it's very hot. I've turned it down some so it'll cool. But what I'm going to do now is I'm getting ready to fry these up. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of my crab balls. And I'm just going to roll it around in flour. Now remember, all we're doing is warming these through because the crab meat's already been cooked. It was cooked when it was uh, in the canning process. Uh, when I get these all floured up, I will come back and we'll start frying them up. All right, my friend, it is time to start frying. Now, the oil is actually hotter than what I really wanted it to be. But as soon as I start dropping these in here, it's going to um, knock that temperature down. So you can see it right away, it's definitely at frying temp. I need to hurry a little bit. I don't want to overcrowd the pan, so I will probably put in half of that. I think I had 17 crab balls, and that is about half right there. Okay. Now, these are going to fry. I'm going to uh, move them around as they start browning up. Oh, yeah. Oh, the smell. Oh, you had smell of vision Good grief. This smells wonderful. Oh my. Woo. All right, we're getting her done. We're going to fry these bad boys. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm just taking the internal temperature of uh, the crab balls. What I'm looking for here is, uh, again, we're not cooking the crab. It's already cooked, but I'm looking to get it thoroughly warmed through. So I'm looking for something around 195 to 200 degrees. And then, of course, they'll cool down before we eat them. Uh, and we are actually, we are there. So I'm going to go ahead and start pulling these off. And I'm going to let them drain on this uh, pan with a paper towel on it. Get the excess uh, oil off of it. All right. See you around the corner. All right, welcome back, my friend, and it is now my favorite ride. It's time of the day, and it is tasting time. We have these gorgeous crab balls that we made coming up for the uh, uh, college football season kickoff. We're doing a little party, so this is a perfect appetizer. You might want to take it to your next party as well. So, Don, mm -hmm. let's give this a taste. Well, we just stab them. Oh. oh, it's so moist. You know, uh, Wow. I'm actually going for a little smaller. Dawn's just using her fingers, dipping in that remoulade sauce. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Oh my goodness, that's worthy of a happy dance. Wow. I'm going to taste it without the sauce. That is so stinking delicious. Very good. Unbelievable. My goodness. Guys, listen. Whether you're doing this for dinner, patty them out like cakes, making balls out of them, whether they're appetizers, it doesn't matter. You've got to try this. It really is super simple. The hardest thing about it, and it's not hard at all, is frying. That just takes the most time. This is a super simple, super delicious, super quick uh, meal you can put together or appetizer for your next football watch party. <laughs> make this thing and remember a day in the kitchen beats a day of working any day we'll see you next time on the chef lance show